Phoebus are set to relaunch their Eagle Ray divers with some stunning sunburst styles. And the one they've sent me to show you has a champagne sunburst dial. Or does it? Now, normally when I'm offered watches like this to review by companies like Phoebus, I don't ask for specific dial colors or versions because, well, I'm just happy to review whichever watch they want me to review. But on this occasion, I did specifically ask for the Champagne Sunburst dial version because, well, those of you that know me know that I love my Champagne Sunburst dial watches. And this is, well, it's my favorite watch I think I've ever, ever owned. I was lucky enough a number of years ago to be able to pick up this gorgeous Grand Seiko with a proper Champagne Sunburst dial. And holding these watches side by side, I think you can see that the Phoebus is perhaps not a true champagne sunburst dial and James and I learned a while back the difference between well a sort of champagne colored dial and a true champagne sunburst dial because when we were having this academic made we wanted to offer a champagne sunburst dial we provided a color code and this is what we were sent and if I hold it next to the Grand Seiko you can see again it's definitely not a champagne sunburst dial so they're using the word champagne in their listing um, but yeah it's not as you can see a true champagne sunburst style but it is actually a very nice color it's a sort of oaky almost a sort of copper color and the sunburst effect on the dial is, yeah, it's quite pronounced, isn't it? It's quite a textured dial. There is fairly deep grooves on that dial radiating out in a sort of sunburst effect. And you can see the light plate on the dial. It's pretty strong. Um, but I've got to say, now that I know this is not a true champagne sunburst dial, I think my pick of the bunch is actually that sort of burnt orange dial version. I like the white dial version as well. But yeah, that sort of burnt orange dial version is lovely. Right, I'm just going to put the brakes on for a moment. I'll get back to reviewing this watch. Once you guys have had some time to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't done so already, of course, I'd really, really appreciate it. I post three, four, sometimes five videos a week on this channel. And if you enjoy my content, yeah, the subscribe button is just down there and maybe hit the bell notifications icon and that like button as well. Right, let's get back to it. Now, I've featured a number of Eagle Ray divers on the channel before, and it is one of my favorite Phoebus dive watches because it's a 200 meter diver. So although it's not a small, lightweight dive watch, um, their 300 meter divers do tend to be a little bit thicker, a little bit chunkier, a bit heavier. And yeah, this is the sort of size and weight that I prefer. It is a compressor style diver. So you've got that internal rotating bezel, which you adjust using this screw down crown at the two o'clock. You've also got the um, crown at the four o'clock, which adjusts the movement. NH35 inside this watch, so it is an automatic, beating at 21,600 beats per hour, hacks and hand winds. And um, yeah, they sometimes use the 9000 series Miyota movements, which makes their watches a little bit more expensive. Um, so yeah, the fact that this one houses the NH35, which I think most people like, just makes this one one of their more affordable watches in their lineup. Now, I don't think they've changed much, if anything, really, from the previous Eagle Rays that I've reviewed. It looks to be the same brace you know very nicely made solid links solid end links screw pins a milled quality clasp look it may be a pressed outer shell but it's fairly substantial and feels very nice quality a few micro adjustments there the finishing overall is what you expect from Phoebus seems to be very nice but yeah they don't seem to really upgrade their watches when they re-release models like this they seem to just make new versions of them with slightly different dial options for example but that's not necessarily a bad thing because overall their watches are built very, very nicely. They always provide good materials, good finishing, good specifications throughout. Double domed sapphire crystal with a decent amount of blue AR coating there. Look, you can see that blue hue. There's always decent loom on Phoebus watches as well. And I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of the video. I'll also do a legibility test. I like to include these legibility tests now. It just shows you at a glance 
um, how legible these watches are. And um, yeah, some like this are actually surprisingly legible. The internal rotating bezel action is nice. You can just feel these very soft sort of subtle bumps or clicks under the crown as you're turning it. And yeah, the alignment is up to you guys, as you know, with internal rotating bezels. Um, yeah, if you line it up nicely, then you'll get decent alignment look. Nice. And here it is on my roughly average sized wrist. You always get decent weight distribution with Phoebus watches because, well, they always add a decent amount of weight to their bracelets. They don't taper too much. There's a little bit of taper. They're solid links, of course, and you always get fairly substantial clasps underneath. So even though the case is a little bit heavier than average and it looks a little bit chunky because it's got that internal rotating bezel, yeah, you still get the weight distributed well all the way around your wrist. And um, yeah, despite it not being a true champagne sunburst style, I still like the color. I still like the overall design. Like I've said already, they don't tend to change their designs very much at all. They just re-release the watches with new dial versions. And um, yeah, I like this one. Although it would have been really nice to see a proper champagne sunburst dial on a watch like this. Sadly, it's not that straightforward. There are quite a few additional processes when making champagne sunburst dials. So um, yeah, I'm not surprised it's not a true champagne sunburst dial, but yeah. Would have been pretty awesome, wouldn't it? So yeah, it is nice to see them expanding their range of Eagle Ray divers, but I think I'm ready to see something new from Phoebus next time. What do you think? Right, guys, as always, a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. Of course, I do really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know what you think of the watch and take care, look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.